Hey guys, how's it going? I'm going to teach you guys how to play Vermilion Part 2 by Slipknot. The, uh, pretty much is the acoustic version of Vermilion. And yeah, so, let's get started. So the first string, it's going to be B. F sharp. B again. E. G sharp. And C sharp. In the video, I may or may not get confused with like the normal tuning. So if I, if I say like the low E string, there's no that's, that's the B. And yeah. So yeah, the first part it's gonna be the intro, which pretty much is the same for the verse. And with that, you're gonna play it six times all together. So it's gonna sound a little like this. Yeah, it's pretty much what it is. Um, let's get started. So it's gonna be the first three strings, the top three strings. Sorry, it's gonna be in the ninth fret. You're gonna bar that. It's gonna be nine, nine, and then twelfth fret, which is gonna be the high B string. So with that, it's gonna go from there. You're gonna hit that. Uh, sorry, your ring finger, you're gonna go to the 11th fret of the B string. And then you let go. And then the 10th fret of the F sharp. F sharp. Then the 9th fret of the same string. So it's gonna be a little slow for you. And open. Uh, this part right here, though. You could do either hammer on, or you could just play uh, picking at it. So put it in real quick, real slow for you guys. And then once you do that, open. It's gonna go to the fifth fret of the F sharp. Open B. You're gonna mute that uh, high B string. And the seventh fret of the E string. So yeah, once you once you finish that uh, up here. So all you do is keep in the same positioning, five and seventh. All you gotta do is slide up your index finger up to the fourth fret. That's pretty much it. And you keep hitting that open string, by the way. And yeah, that's pretty much the uh, the whole song. <laughs> now, the, yeah, so for that part, I believe it's six times. So after the, the sixth time, you hit a C chord. Pretty much the C chord is third fret of the F sharp, second fret of the B string, the high B string, open E, first fret of the G sharp. And pretty much you go back to that 5 and 7 positioning after the C chord. But instead of sliding it up like we did before, you hit the seventh fret of the B string, sixth fret twice, and then open. So it's gonna be. Okay. Put a little bit slower, so the same positioning. Five and seven. Now all that really changes is the top B string 
uh, frets. So it's. It's very hard to hear it in the song. Uh, what I did to help me out, figured out how to do that was the live version of it. Uh, it really helped out a lot. So yeah, that's pretty much what that is. So try to go into the beat of it. So it's going to be... Yeah, so he plays it a little bit fast. Uh, check out the live version of it on YouTube. Uh, pretty much, you could clearly... Uh, tell when he does it. It really helps out a lot. So after that you go back into the verse part which is the uh... and then and then instead of playing it six times you play it four times instead. And then after the fourth time you hit the C string, I mean the C chord again the same thing we did earlier and then after that second part after you do it it's gonna go into the chorus which is As you can tell, I can't hit some of the frets sometimes. It's a little hard, but um, just do it super slow. Uh, find that comfortability with your guitar, and then you'll, you'll, you'll get the hang of it. So it's pretty much the open C sharp. Sixth fret of the G sharp. And seventh fret of the E. So when you do that part, you're going to hit the 6th and 7th together at the same time. And then the open. And then that pretty much stays the same throughout the whole chorus part. The only thing that changes is the, the, uh, the B string. So we'll go from the 8th fret to the 7th. Open. pretty much it. Uh, what's, what really helps me out with the transitioning is I used to, I like to use my, my ring finger for the 8th fret first so that once I go up to the 7th fret all I gotta do is switch the placement of my ring finger so my ring finger and my middle finger so all I gotta do is switch them out like this real quick It's, it's a little bit easier for me. Uh, you guys can do it how you ever like it. Just feel it more comfortable like this. And then once I hit that open, then f for me to actually reach that third fret up here, uh, I just use my ring and middle finger for the sixth and seventh fret. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of suck, but uh, yeah, just take it easy. My biggest mistake was trying to learn it fast. Uh, don't do that. It's gonna you're gonna you're gonna hate it. So take your time with it. Play it play it along with the finger positioning. You'll get the hang of it. And then once you do that a couple of times, I think it's like two times, three times. Um, you gotta play the. 
this real quick. So yeah, it was pretty much, uh, you don't finish that whole little 8th, 7, open 3. All you gotta do is hit the 8th fret first while doing the same pattern. Then once you reach that open fret, play it twice. And then you go to the 7th and 9th fret. Uh, same position as the 5 and 7th up here. Let's move it down to the 7 and 9. And you slide it down to the 8 and 10. Slide it up, first fret of the F sharp, and then the other three strings, which is the other three fingers, it's going to be all in the third fret. So yeah, it's going to go a little slow for you guys. Once you do that first, and then the, the bar three fret, the bar in the third frets, open F sharp, and then C chord. Go back to the chord from the beginning, and then uh, kind of like a D chord, except the fingers are a little bit different. It's gonna be the first fret of the C sharp. Third fret of the G sharp, second fret of the E string. So yeah, kind of like a D string, except it's a little different. So yeah, real quick again. And then once you hit that, then you go down here, you bar the first three uh, strings on the fifth fret. I'm gonna play that. I'm just gonna go a little like this. This part really confused me so much back when I was trying to learn in middle school. So we'll just do a, a piece by piece. So yeah, it's gonna be the first three top strings, fifth fret. So you're gonna hit that. And then the fifth and seventh fret again, that little chord. Except this time you don't let the the uh, B string ring. You just hit it once. That's gonna be. And then you slide it up to the six and four. Play that twice without hitting the B string. And then you go slide down again to the five and seventh without hitting the B without hitting the B string again. And once you get to that third stroke, that's when you hit the open. So real quick. that twice, that whole thing twice. And then you go back down to the, to, instead of playing the, the chord like that, you bar the first three strings on the seventh fret. And then with your pinky, it's gonna be the ninth fret. So it's gonna go from the seventh and ninth, sorry, the barring of the seventh and the ninth, down to the eighth and the tenth. And then it goes 
into this little uh, sliding position here. It's going to be on the 6th and 8th. And you slide up to the 5th and 7th. So, oh, sorry. It's going to be on the uh, F sharp string and the E string. Just those two. So you're going to hit it, slide it up, 5th and 7th. And then, once you go to the same string, 3rd and 5th frets, then back to the 5th and 7th, and then you slide it up again one more time, and then you end up back here with the 7th and 9th, hit that once, and then go back to the barring. Back to the chorus, it's going to be the weird position again. And you play that, and then I think it's like three or four times, I think. I could be wrong, so yeah, go with the, go with the song. And then after that, you go back into the verse, the intro kind of chord thing. for the rest of the song. Uh, it's a little repetitive, so that's why it's an easy song, but it's kind of challenging just because of the finger positioning. That's where they got me when I was trying to learn it back back in middle school. So I finally learned how to play that little tricky uh, chorus part and also the uh, after chorus, you know. It's already bugged me, so that's why I didn't want to play anymore. But I just love it, you know, the vocals, the uh, the transitions, just really love the song. So that's why I ended up learning how to play it. And then I found out a couple ways how to do the different endings. So you could pretty much what the what that chord was. The so it's gonna be the ninth fret of the B string, the eleventh fret, B string as well. Then you go down to the F sharp, to the tenth fret, and the ninth fret. Pretty much it. Or you could do the the intro. So the intro, while you're playing this, the other guitar is playing the. So yeah, you could use that to end it as well if you want. So that one's gonna be the fourth fret on the E string. Go down to the sixth fret. The same string. Then you go up to the high B string, 5th fret, and then 4th fret. And yeah, you could either play you could play either of those two. I personally, personally like it down here since I'm already down here. And yeah, it's pretty much the whole song. It's, it's repetitive. That's why I like it. Uh, plus you get get it like challenge your fingers to those weird positionings kinda like it, kinda don't uh, yeah so if you have any questions uh, message me uh, shoot me a comment comment section get back to you as soon as you can and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, there was another song I wanted to do actually except I'm still in the process of learning uh, maybe you guys know it, it's this one So yeah, I'll try to learn that one and then uh, <laughs> get back to you guys with that one. So yeah, uh, shoot me any questions you have and I'll get back to you as soon as you can. Take care.